So always try to come in from something abstract and high level and then try it to Zoho. So let me ask a question that seemingly irrelevant. <laughs> What's the length of the UK coastline? And you know, if you ask a satellite, that's how it looks like, UK. I picked UK because you know, you can see how how much of a coastline it has. It's <laughs> it's a line of nation. So then you well, you fly over it. This is what you will see, right? That's I think somewhere near the London, the whole somewhere in the coast near London, I guess. Then of course, when a bird will look more like this, it's a little bit closer. You can already start to see. I mean, you can see the coastline being <laughs> all those little inlets and whatnot. And this is what we see when we are on the beach, right? This is what we'll see. But this is what an ant will see. <laughs> Ants are important, right? This is what an ant will see. It doesn't see any water. It doesn't see anything. It just sees the grains of sand, right? <laughs> so, turns out, it depends on how you measure it. So, if you take 100 kilometer resolution, it's 2,800 kilometers. That's what the number turns out. If you take 50 kilometers, you zoom in, the answer is actually 3,400. So it's 2,800 or 3,400. And of course, you can go down, right? Five kilometer, one kilometer, and then down to one meter, ant level, whatever. So it actually, the length of the coastline depends on the length of your measuring rod. So a natural question then, of course, the smaller the measuring rod, the longer the coastline. You go to one meter measure, and it's going to be longer. I don't know what the number is. I don't know if anybody has done that. So it's natural to ask, if you keep making the rod smaller and smaller, ant level, <laughs> does it converge to some number? Is there some number that's like the coastline? No. Actually, maybe the ant will see a coastline that's millions of kilometers. We don't even know what that is. <laughs> and it's, in fact, it keeps changing, right? Every, every second it'll be changing, what the ant sees. So this is actually real. There is this is a Canadian coastline from the Vancouver Island, where you know Canada starts to all the way to Alaska. It has 25,000 kilometer coastline over a linear distance. As we drive, it's only about 965 kilometers. So that's that's how jagged the coastline is. And if you zoom in and see it, that explains it. You can see that. That's what is the coastline here? How do you even call it? How do you define it? Right. So you have to go all these inlets. So this is actually, there is a field of mathematics called fractals to explain this phenomenon where you zoom in and in and in, more and more details come in. And that answer, there is no final answer. There is not a number you can say that is the coastline, actually. It just depends on how it's your measuring rod. I mean, you tend to pick something like one kilometer. I believe the official standard is you measure in one kilometer unit. That's the official whatever they call it. And that's how they report those things. When they report California has a coastline of this as measured by that one kilometer measuring scale. That's that's the standard. So what does that have to do with software? So if you look at our Zoho suite as a whole, let's take Zoho CRM Plus, the focus of this event. All, most of the sessions here are those CRM plus. Let's zoom in. So you will see CRM projects, campaign, social survey, sales IQ. Can somebody identify the missing piece here? <laughs> Reports. So I didn't list it here. That's there in the background somewhere. <laughs> that was deliberate. So let's zoom into Zoho CRM. Then you have all these leads opportunities, contacts, projects, customer flows, dashboards. I mean, I'm leaving out a lot of things there as well. Zoom into leads, could build an entire product just around leads. Take the Zoho CRM leads, you could zoom in and create an entire product around it. I mean, you could have an entire product suite around just the leads. In fact, there are companies that do only leads. 
fleet management groups. I mean, that's that's just the universe of software we are in. Then zoom back up. Now this is much higher level of zoom. This is the satellite view, right? You have CRM plus, you have the HR, you have finance, you have productivity, you have analytics, all of that in the Zoho suite, right? So that's the, you go from the leads all the way, which is probably in that picture somewhere, zoom level somewhere here, and I'm just going back up to all the way up. So this is why you get that, and this is a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> feeling, right? So if you have that feeling, if you feel that, you know, this whole thing is so, I mean, there's so much in there, you're not alone. In fact, we get that same question from new people who join us. There's so much going on. In fact, I get asked all the time, how do we begin? How do I begin to learn all this? I say, don't learn all this. That's, you first see pieces and then slowly, slowly over time, your focus will expand and you will see the bigger picture. Don't attempt to grasp all of it at once because it's, it just won't make sense. And that's, that's why I call this a fractal jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> that means that, what is a fractal jigsaw puzzle? The deeper you look, the more details you find. Like I mentioned, you go into lead management alone, you know you can build entire companies around just lead management, entire product suite around lead management, which could look as rich as Zoho CRM as a whole, and as rich as CRM plus, and as rich as then the Zoho suite. I mean, like that, you can put that much depth into that. And why is, does this happen? I mean, is this because software engineers just want to complicate the world? Not really. It's not actually. It reflects the reality of the business landscape that software serves. I mean, the reason all of this exists, I mean, you know the reality of anyone who runs even a 3% a business, 2% business, you know as soon as you have, you have your accounting, you have your, you have to manage your sales, you have to manage inventory, if you have that kind of a business, and payroll, workers comp, I mean, there's a lot of details that come in. And then you run a facility like this, you know, we have regulatory compliance and all of this. And for something like this event, there is a couple of people have to work two or three weeks on a lot of details. And that's, all of that is what is going into software now. As an example, we are building an event management software, drawing from this experience. Just one example of what we are doing. And that's going to have the richness that something like putting together all these events requires, which a lot of companies do. A lot of, there's lots of events in the world. So we are building an event management as part of the whole. So like a coastline, the business landscape is full of the twists and turns and the hidden fjords, all of that. That's that's just how the business is. So your software simply reflects that, that complexity of the real world business. And it's a dynamic landscape. I mean, you see this at the ant level view the most clearly because for an ant, the coastline is not a static thing at all. It's constantly changing. I mean, every second it's changing. But even for us, when we are walking on the beach, I mean, if you go one year later, something would have changed. It doesn't look exactly the same. There may be a new sandbar there, something that didn't exist before. So there's all these fragmentation, consolidation, all of that going on all the time. In fact, in business, everyone who's in business knows opportunity could be hiding in a niche that is overlooked. Most business insight comes from things other people overlooked. That's how all new successes come. That somewhere there is something people overlooked, you are able to look at it. And that needs, that means that you have to be able to be in that level of detail. So fractal jigsaw puzzle, this is how I've called it now, the whole business landscape, it's actually a lot harder than just a regular jigsaw puzzle. Well, you zoom in, unexpected details emerge, and at every level, whatever level you're in, from the highest level to the lowest level to lower and lower, because there's no lowest level, you can keep on going, you can identify missing pieces. And not all of the pieces will fit. Suddenly, unexpectedly, something, because that reflecting the dynamism of business, something business landscape changes. For example, this year we just launched Instagram support on our Zoho social. Two or three years ago, that wasn't very relevant for business. For example, we haven't done Snapchat support for business yet, but I'm sure that's going to come, right? Snapchat is going to become a business tool. Nobody predicts these things, right? And what business tools are lurking that we have to support in three years? What kind of social or whatever tool people use? Maybe virtual reality, I don't know. 
for example this the piece doesn't fit right now is how does a virtual reality kind of thing fit in the business landscape in fact nobody is even asking those questions yet but maybe in 2020 this is what i'll be talking about that's that's what i mean by the not all the pieces fit progress depends on thinking about those missing pieces and the pieces that don't fit why doesn't there's something a new thing that doesn't seem to fit with all the world view we have and so the world looks and then you supply a few missing pieces and suddenly a picture comes those black pieces didn't exist before we supplied it and then painted it in and suddenly a picture this is how a lot of the business landscape looks like and this will rearrange so one missing piece that you supply could rearrange an entire picture and this is how it happens in the real world too and keep in mind there is no definitive final picture in all this we are talking about the operating system 5 years ago we were not thinking of the operating system actually we were building a set of products the operating system was something that emerged out of all this then we realized actually there is something here that that's that's exactly like that how this picture came up there that was how we put that together so that means there's no point only thinking about the big picture big picture thinking is important but there's no point only thinking about the big picture nor can we always be only at the detail level because as important as lead management is lead management alone is not the entire business <laughs> there's lots of other pieces to a business right lead management is extremely important so is maybe accounting so is how you handle your payroll better how you recruit all of those details are important so this really calls for a skill where i call it you dynamically orient and reorient and this is actually what i do a lot of i am actually i am both looking at the picture of zo operating system as a whole i am also looking at the programming languages that underpin our infrastructure the security details those are the things that maybe 60% of my time is actually spent on working on those kinds of details because it turns out that's where a lot of the new insights come from that you understand the technology at the fundamental level then you can think you know we could build this whole thing in a different way that's how the new thing comes so that's how we work really at zo this whole dynamic reorientation in this for example email in crm is something that we deeply focused on as one detail that's email is just one you think of as one piece but we have done a lot of work reimagined for a crm user it's email but reimagine the crm way and of course we also are reimagining how crm and finance work together deeper integration for example you want when lead comes in maybe that's an existing customer buying a new product you want to know how they have been paying before have they paid on time all of that you want to take that into account the sales person has to have that kind of information and then visualize the whole zo operating system so these are there are pieces like the email and then there's the whole operating system how it flows together so the operating system itself just like the coast line it is much greater than just some of the parts in fact it it becomes in effect it's an ever expanding dynamic entity so this is how it looks in a way the all this zoom in zoom out the bigger picture the details the perspective that dynamic perspective and the missing pieces that we spot identify and then supply so that's how the whole suite is put together so it this kind of a thing is why we are energetic and inventive our work is never done in this and it's a culture that embraces change and reinvention we are constantly reinventing ourselves we have done this three or four times in our history 20 year history and we are doing this again and again and i like to say this is an operating system that reflects that fractal nature of your own business because all of business is like this dynamic changing so a dynamic evolving software that suits the dynamic evolving nature of your business that's our mission here all right thank you